All right, man, what's good with y'all, man? We back with the boy, the game, man. We got the motherfucking game, Drillmatic album track list review, you know what I'm saying? Let's get straight to it, see what it's talking about. Hey, y'all, and the album dropping seven more hours, man. We excited for that shit, man. Hey, man, let's get straight to it, man. Let's get straight into the track list. Now, 31 songs on a project. That is a long project right there, you know what I'm saying? Typically, albums really, like, range from, like, 15 to 21 songs. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes less, sometimes more. But... Hey man, 31 songs of all albums. So that means we probably gonna do finish, you know what I'm saying, about like 10 out of 15 of the tracks on the channel. If y'all want the full thing, y'all know what I'm saying, let me know. Y'all gonna have to spam that shit if y'all really want the full album. But y'all know I rock with the boy game, you know what I'm saying? So let's get straight to the track list. The first song we got is One Time featuring Ice T. Now, Ice T, I was just watching a movie called The Leprechaun 5 in the Hood, and Ice T in that motherfucking movie, funny as hell. Hey man, so I'm expecting a dope record with these two right here, you know what I'm saying, One Time. Easy featuring Kanye West, the second song off the project. Now, originally, I didn't listen to this song because I seen I seen the cover art for it. And it was like some inside-out skeleton-type looking thing. I wouldn't fuck with it. I'm like, what the fuck is that? The game, I ain't gonna lie. I wouldn't fuck with the cover art. So I never listened to the song. You know what I'm saying? So we're gonna check the song out when the album drop. Third song we got is Burning Checks featuring 5 year Foreign. All right, now with that, I'm, expect I'm expecting like a dope-ass track, you know, talking about like burning through checks and getting money, you know what I'm saying? Basically, you know, how, how they, how they, you know what I'm saying, spent all that money, they got it back, they spent it again, and got it back. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be on that type of vibe right there. Next song we got is Voodoo featuring Boa, Q and QG. And I have no idea who that is, you know what I'm saying? I'm assuming that's probably one of the game homeboys or probably an up-and-coming L.A. artist that the game fuck with and he trying to um, give him that shine and shit like that by putting him on a project, so I'm assuming that's who it is. I don't know too much about him. Next song we got is Home Invasions. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure you're going to be probably like telling the story of like a home invasion story. You know what I'm saying? Somebody breaking into his house, probably trying to rob him and shit like that, and probably what he going to do in that scenario if the situation happened. So that's what I'm expecting with that. Next song we got is Op featuring NBA Youngboy. I'm excited to hear that track right there, man. Op, uh, it's gonna be about options. Feel me? Probably gonna be dissing on that bitch. Probably gonna be talking crazy. You know what I'm saying? Rex is gonna be on some gangster shit. That's what I'm gonna fuck with. Next song we got number seven is Outside featuring YG. I'm excited for that song, man. Now we all know what they is. You know what I'm saying? We all know what they claim. They make it clear as day. So I'm expecting some gang banging gangster ass shit on that motherfucker. Some shit that I know I'm gonna like. But time to the next track, man. Number eight, La La Land, man. It's gonna be him. You know what I'm saying? Explaining the story of him dozing off in the La La Land, probably getting to a certain scenario, you know what I'm saying? Just dozing off probably in the streets, you know what I'm saying? Doing crazy shit, wilding out. That's what I feel like the song gonna be about. Next song we got is Change the Game featuring Ty Dollar Sign. Hmm. That might be on like some, you know, Ty, Ty Dollar Sign mainly sing for real, you know what I'm saying? So I'm expecting like some, some vocals and shit, probably like some How to Love shit. You know, I don't know. Shit, I don't know. But the next song we got is number 10. How Far I Came featuring Roddy Rich is going to be dope implementing old school L.A. hip hop and then new school L.A. hip hop of Roddy Rich in the game. That's going to be a dope little L.A. track on the L.A. beat. It's going to be smooth as hell. It's going to be dope. Probably be like some come up struggle music type shit and it's going to be dope. I'm, you know what I'm saying? Like, fuck with it. Let's get it. Next song we got is Heart versus Mind. Hey, man. Two things you need the most. You know what I'm saying? You need your heart. You need your mind, man. So I'm pretty sure it's going to be about, you know, you know, losing loved ones, but also, you know, Keeping the right, the right people around. Also, it's going to be about, you know, keep your mind on point, staying focused, staying locked in so you can get through, you know what I'm saying, that environment and shit like that. Next song we got is No Smoke at the Polo Lounge featuring Jeremiah. That's going to be some R&B shit. Probably like some like some hater or love it type shit. Maybe, you know what I'm saying, 50 Cent, shit like that. Next song we got is No Man Falls featuring Pusha T and Two Chains. That's gonna be some shit that I feel like Two Chains gonna come on that song rapping on some, you know, some real shit, you know, what I'm saying? some serious shit. And then Pusha she gonna come on that bitch rapping. Then the gang gonna come on that bitch spitting too. It's gonna be some real ass shit on that song. Like I say, Pusha T to me got a top five albums of the year, right? You know what I'm saying with the with the uh, It's Dry album. That's the album right there was dope. But next song we got is Chrome Slugs and Harmony featuring Lil Wayne and G Herbo. Mm, I like that title, man. Chrome Slugs and Harmony. That's gonna be some shit about shooting, shooting some niggas up. I ain't gonna lie. You got Lil Wayne and Angie Herbo. They finna talk about shooting some niggas on that bitch. I ain't gonna lie. That's what I'm expecting. You know what I'm saying a dope little gangster rap. You know what I'm saying little song. You know what I'm saying about shooting people up and shit. But next song we got is Start from Scratch Two, which is I think I think it was the number one if I'm not mistaken. But it's part two, so I'm expecting that to be a dope record. Number 16. Damn, this is a long ass album. God damn. And he got a lot of, it's a lot of features on this album, which 
I don't really like the game with a lot of features. I like when artists just do songs on their own because I like it. It's better to me when they just rap on their own song instead of having a bunch of features. So I don't like the fact that he got a lot of features, but I guess it's going to be cool. You know what I'm saying? But next song he's got is what we not going to do. So it's basically it's going to be like what we not going to do, what mistakes we not going to make and shit like that. So I'm expecting that to be a dope song. We got next song we got is Fortunate. It's another Kanye feature. With Drezzy and Chiller. I have no idea who Drezzy and Chiller is. I'm expecting them to be like two of the game homies and shit like that from LA. And then featuring Kanye. Kanye and the game, you know what I'm saying? They cool as hell, you know what I'm saying? Kanye did say in an interview that that Kanye did more more for him in a year than, than Dr. Dre did in his whole career. So I'm expecting that to be some crazy shit, you know what I'm saying? Dope as hell. Next song is Ruby Rose. It's going to be a love song. But then it got a twist on it. I don't really know what twist it. I, I, I want twist it a rap, you know what I'm saying? I like when twist a rap. But it's Ruby Rose, you know what I'm saying? I think he's going to talk about his obsession, his like. You know what I'm saying? He's going to be basically shooting his shot at Ruby Rose because he probably fuck with it, you know what I'm saying? You know, a lot of niggas fantasize about a female, certain female in the industry and shit like that. And probably to get some probably one of the games, you know, little crushes and shit like that. So that's why I'm expecting it with that, you know what I'm saying? And Jeremiah on that bitch too. Next song, we got the title, Funniest Dad. That motherfucker, Drake with Braids. It's going to be a love song, man. And I, I, don't, I don't want too many love songs on this album because the album is titled fucking Drillmatic. I'm expecting some drill shit, but it's basically Drake with Braids. You know, Drake a lover boy. The game is not, you know what I'm saying? But it's probably going to be a love song because it's, it's Drake with Braids. You know what I'm saying? Basically what you're describing right there. Com common sense right there. Next song is Nikki Beach featuring French Montana and Toy Lanez. That is going to definitely be a love song. I cannot see that not being a love song is Nikki's Beach. Maybe you talking about being on Nicki Minaj's beach or something like that. I don't know, you know what I'm saying? But, hey, I am expecting that to be a little love song. Might be cool, you know what I'm saying? I don't know too much. But next song is Talk Nice, Talk To Me Nice, featuring Meek Mill, Moneybag, yo, and Blast. Blast a dope artist. Check them out on Chris Brown album, too. So, Blast, dope. And then Meek Mill, Meek Mill and the game should sound good together, you know what I'm saying? Philly and L.A., that should sound dope. And then Moneybag, yo, with Memphis. That should sound dope. I don't know how Meek Mill and Moneybag Yo gonna sound the song together. I don't. I can't see them two like, you know, matching like, you know, as far as far as like the sound. I can't. I can't see that. You know what I'm saying? But we will see how how it work out. And then the next song number twenty two is Money Cash Clothes, featuring ASAP Rocky. ASAP Rocky, Rocky, a fashion nigga. He a nigga that get that's getting money. He married to motherfucking well, finna get married to Rihanna, some shit like that. And nigga definitely a fashion nigga, so you know what I'm saying? He got a lot of clothes, deals, and shit like that. He all about dressing and shit, so I'm expecting it to be a dope song. Ace and Rocky know how to dress too, so you know what I'm saying? I'm expecting it to be dope. Next song we got is Killers featuring Cameron. Boy, I'm excited for that feature right there. Oh, man, that boy Cameron, that nigga can rap his ass off, boy. And that nigga Cameron, the truth, man, for real. But let's check it out, you know what I'm saying? Next song we got. It's stupid featuring big sh wait no. I skipped one. Twenty four man. This probably gonna be the, the the most popular song on the album because it's gonna create controversy, you know what I'm saying? It's probably gonna be a diss or it's gonna be a love letter, you know what I'm saying? Showing her towards his appreciation to to the game. But I heard this song if I'm not mistaken, I think it's gonna be like ten minutes long, which is crazy. But it's called the Black Slim Shady, which is a play on Eminem. Slim Shady, you know what I'm saying? Eminem, they call him Slim Shady. Slim Shady, you know what I'm saying? And he's calling himself the Black Slim Shady. He mentioned it also in a in a freestyle they did on LA Liga. So I'm I'm excited for that track right there. Hopefully it's dope. Hopefully as you know the game got to come with it. Cause if it's a diss track, hey, he got to really come with it, man. Cause Eminem, I don't think he gonna he gonna back down from the game. You know what I'm saying? I think he gonna come out a little hibernation as far as like with dissing niggas and going back and forth for niggas. I think he gonna come out. You know, give the game a, a dope little verse, you know what I'm saying? That'd be dope to see them two go with it. Two street niggas, you know what I'm saying? You know, the game, and then, you know, Eminem from Detroit, Trailer Park Boy. You know what I'm saying? Hey, let's get it, man. Then we got Stupid featuring Big Sean. Damn. That's, hmm. Go Stupid. Go Stupid. Wow, but he, that, he had a song called something like that, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm expecting that to be, you know what I'm saying, some club shit, maybe. And then, damn, 38. That's 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 a pistol right there. Special feature in Blueface. Okay. 38 special, man. It's gonna be some LA shit. Nice little West Coast beat, you know what I'm saying? LA, you know what I'm saying? Blueface, you know, he from he from LA and shit like that. He dope. So that's gonna be a dope little song right there. Some LA ass shit. It's gonna be cool to say the LA beat smooth as hell. So I'm expecting it to be dope. And then we got Twisted. 
Twisted gonna be some shit, some crazy. I feel like that's gonna be some crazy shit. That like him just, you know, riding around doing some crazy shit. You know, I don't know. It's gonna be him. It's gonna be him wilding out on that bitch. He just, I feel like he's gonna rap for like five minutes straight, just going fucking ballistic. You know what I'm saying? With all type of bars and shit on that bitch. Next song we got, I'm excited for a man. Rest in peace to Nipsey Hustle. But the song is called War World Tours. You know what I'm saying? Featuring Nipsey Hustle. Shit, goddamn man. This song gonna be dope as hell. It's gonna be it's gonna be real. It's gonna be straight from the heart. It's gonna be spitting that real, you know what I'm saying, street shape and uplift uplifting the community and shit like that. It's gonna be dope. I'm excited for it. Hey man. Hey man, rest in peace to nip. But next song we got is Save the Best for Last featuring Rick Ross. Ooh, I'm excited for that, man. Rick Ross in the game. Rick Ross a legend in the game, man. It's gonna be a dope little track right there. Some real shit. Save the best for last, man. Hopefully it's the best. And it's saved for last, my nigga. The next song we got is a father's prayer. You know, I think the game got a few kids, I'm not mistaken. So he's gonna basically be speaking on like fatherhood and how, how it affected him and how it changed him in life and shit like that. So that should be dope. And then we got the final song. There's a lot of songs, my nigga. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't expect you see. If it was just 14, you know, 15 songs, it would have been easy to read this song. But this 31 goddamn song, shit, the game. You wildin' out on this bitch. I ain't gonna lie. This bitch better be hard, nigga. But the last song is Universal Love. It's gonna be a love song, which I don't like because the album is is titled Dramatic. So I'm expecting, I was expecting straight drill shit on every single song, but it's a few love songs here that I'm expecting. But I want it all drill, which is you know what I'm saying, which is what the album is called Dramatic. But it's featuring Chris Brown, Chris Brown top five albums this year. You know what I'm saying with the Breezy album. And then Chloe Blady, that's gonna be some R and B shit. It's gonna be some dope shit. Probably her screaming in the mic and shit, singing and shit. She got a dope little voice. And then, and then Cassie. So that's that's gonna be dope. You know what I'm saying? But 31 songs on a project, man. Let me know y'all feel about the, the game putting 31 songs on a project. That's a long ass project. But I'm expecting a dope album. We gonna check out the whole thing, man. The game, Drillmatic, man. Look, y'all, man. I'm out, man. Peace out to the game. To the game.